You are welcome to another spirit filled message on Christocentric message. If you're new to this channel, I would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well. I would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth, it's going to bless you. Your graces are going to be imparted unto you and then God is going to visit your home. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed. La sopra skina hashiata. Please hear me. The darkness that is in this world today, I am saying it again. It will require more than just nice preaching, more than having just a sincere heart. I'm saying this because I believe there are many people here. You are part of this mighty army. My precious people, hear me. If God told the apostles to tarry, you need to know why he gave them power. He said, you guys, he spent three and a half years. Who teaches doctrine more than Jesus? Who mentors a people more than the rabbi himself? And he said, I am confident of all I have given you. What I submit to you is not enough. Tarry. Why will you still tarry? Every day was a lecture with Jesus. You know what it means to sit down in his presence? full of the Holy Ghost receiving lectures for three and a half years I thought that would be enough for ministry he said tarry until you'll be endued with power we will keep giving flimsy explanations for the absence of power like it does not matter or it's not all about power of course it's not all about power but the role that power has to play nothing will replace it nothing will replace it do you know the confidence to do evangelism has died in many of you because there is no power to prove you don't know what you will go and tell the people that is the truth mama let's go to church and they'll say don't mind those those men of god who are fraudsters who will only come and collect money from you don't blame them until they see the display of God's power that someone walks in and while it is a I mean someone is coming on a crutch and the service has not even started and as soon as they come in look at the woman with the issue of blood the Bible says she touched the hem of his garment and said to herself if I may but touch I'm able to touch. The person talking to you has seen the grace of God to the glory of God. But believe me, it is, it is child's play compared to where we are crying that God will help us get to. Because you see, I don't know, I'm not saying you should, I was, I was looking for a particular video and then I stumbled across some kind of program or something like that that you know was on YouTube and it was a two-minute video and I decided to watch it it was magicians magicians were doing something you know they were doing all kinds of things I don't know what they were doing but I kept looking with anger in my spirit not anger towards them anger towards our condition I said what in the world is this these people through whether through divination or astral practices have been able to access routes in the spirit and I say here we are shouting God is almighty shouting God is all-powerful do you know how many people who are following koinonia right now from various hospitals imagine you are a sick patient and you are listening to a man of God right now talking maybe you are listening on air what else will you be looking for what better platform for evangelism where you have unbelievers surrounding you is that not the greatest if you were God would that not be the greatest opportunity to get that person healed this thing is not working in our lives let's just be honest and submit with humility and start searching for the pathway that leads to authentic power rather than standing in pride and talking about our falling here and there that is not producing any potent result When I speak, I speak with love and honor to the body. But I submit to you, we are joking. 
we need to obtain grace from God. It's an uncomfortable truth. If we call one person who is blind now to come and stand here, one person who is on a wheelchair now to come and stand here, one person whose life and family is under yokes and curses, come and stand here. One person who has gone through all kinds of bodily deformities, come and stand here. Another person, come and stand here. And we give you a Bible as a man of God. We say, all right, you claim that Jesus is Lord. What else is a greater expression of darkness than this? Demonstrate the superiority of the life of God. I like Elijah. Prophets of Baal, let's meet at Camel. This thing we have to settle once and for all. All these debates about the sovereignty of God. No, let's go to Mount Camel. If God be God, serve him. If Baal be God, serve him. In one day, a nation was brought to his knees by one man, not one church, not one nation. One day, one day, and he said, let's start with you. Call upon your God from morning till night. Oh, Baal, hear us. Oh, Baal, hear us. Oh, Baal, hear us. And nothing happened. When it was the time of the evening sacrifice, he said, get out of the way now. Don't waste my time. That is mastery. That is not, you don't guess with that kind of risk. Listen, Elijah was teaching us, we all claim we're in the New Testament. And we say these guys are in the Old Testament. But see what they did in the Old Testament. We who are now fruits of the New Testament, let us demonstrate the superiority of what we stand on. The Bible says it was founded upon better promises. And please do not say the bodies of men do not matter. Because Jesus died in the flesh. The same grace that saves is the same grace that heals. The same grace that delivers. When he blesses, he blesses holistically. Spirit, soul and body. Tonight's teaching is a wake up call. It's a wake up call. And we called upon the God of heaven. The Bible says fire came and licked the entire thing. Burnt everything and they killed the prophets of Baal. How about Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego? How long did it take Babylon to submit to the Lordship of Jehovah? One day, one spectacular encounter. A day will come we'll step our feet across nations and they reject the gospel and we'll tell them you rejected light and darkness will suddenly appear physical darkness as proof that they have rejected the gospel that is a sermon greater than any oratory and people will run and say come show us the way of the Lord if it is true that Jesus is coming soon I submit to you the rate at which we are winning the world the November statistics of the world says we are 8 billion people and counting Christianity practicing faith, including backsliders, including unserious people, all together professing Christians were about 2.6 billion. Out of how many? Over 2,000 years, this is what we have achieved. The Bible called a few people, these are they that turn the world upside down. There needs to be a spectacular manifestation of the hand of God. Go and read about the Azusa Street Revival. Go and read about the Wells Revival. Go and read about men like John Knox. Go and read about men like E.M. Bounds, Charles G. Feeney. Go and read about these great men. Believe me, it was when you see these things written in history, they are not empty talks. They were written for our learning. Man of God, something is wrong with your spiritual life if this message is not challenging you. A few of us that it looks like God has helped a bit. We are the ones that people have to make do it. Relative to what can be, what is there. There was a video I watched years ago. About a river somewhere, please sit down. A river somewhere in the east. That suddenly appeared also. I, I don't know if it's verified, but I mean it's, it's one time. And it was purported that it had some healing power. 
and it was recorded and people were jumping and diving into it even while they were recording them they were not ashamed because it seemed to carry a semblance there were thousands of people it looked like a market square a river that cannot speak a river that cannot preach a river that did not have a keyboardist a river that does not give honorarium or take honorarium it only there was a a, 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 a a statement that it could heal and people came from everywhere let me tell you the truth Jesus would have been surprised if the only thing he brought is a sermon repent for the kingdom is at hand is that what your Bible says he did no he started he announced himself with a spectacular demonstration of the miraculous then he now calmed the people down and said come to the mountain and then he now started teaching them they didn't exactly believe but could they argue he said even if you don't believe me believe me for the work's sake and then the ultimate of that power was when he died went to Hades collected the keys and on the third day he rose again nothing could bring him down and he resurrected by the power of the spirit and said all hail all authority in heaven and in earth has been given unto me he says go go have we truly been obedient let me tell you the truth evangelism is not something you just encourage people to do evangelism is a product of conviction when people see the authentic manifestation of power how many of you right now if we announce that in koinonia we are giving 50 50 000 tomorrow no announcement on social media that's the condition don't announce anything on social media but we are giving 50 50 000 for instance tomorrow you will see strategies of publicity you have never known the human brain can invent that is because they, there is an assurance that 50,000 is on ground. A family of 10 can say, let's quickly come because that's 500 naira, that's rent. People would travel by 2 a.m. and come and wait patiently. Sun, too small a reason. Rain, too small a reason for 50,000. So when you tell people that Jesus is here, he saves, he heals, he delivers. They will first drag themselves and say let's let's watch and see what happens at the end of it you share the grace they say i knew it i knew that is this nonsense that will waste my time again the next time you invite them they will say pray for us it's already a message it's a it's a it's a shorthand form of a long writing that says you are wasting my time and i'm not prepared to go and waste my time in that place again I pray that God will do something to me, to you, to Koinonia, and to the body of Christ to restore genuine and authentic power. The world is not prepared for our excuses. The Bible says, I reckon, Romans chapter 8, I reckon that the sufferings of this time is not worthy to be compared with the glory that shall be revealed in us. It says, for the endless expectation of the creature waited for the manifestation of the sons of God creation was subject to the bondage of corruption not willingly but by reason of Adam the one who subjected him that they are waiting to come into the glorious liberty of the sons this is the power of God let the blind see let the deaf hear let the crippled be healed let people with all kinds of demonic situations imagine a family comes and you tell them in the name of Jesus the gates of this family is open and right as you are prophesying somebody calls at home and says I don't know but someone just came and gave us two million he said God sent him where are you right now you say I'm in church what is the man of God saying he's just declaring he said you 